Hi everyone, so in this video I wanted to share with you something that is really close to my heart and a lot of you that have followed this channel for a while will be aware of exactly why this is so important to me and actually will have seen some videos of me whilst I was there. So Mighton Hospice is a hospice that is based in Coventry and Warwick, there are two um, sites to it and when my husband, just before my husband died in the later stages of his illness, we he was admitted into Might and Hospice. And hospices were not something that I had any previous knowledge of, nor was cancer, nor was brain cancer, nor was any of that stuff. You know, it's all very, very new. And we hadn't, me and my husband had talked very openly about all of the cancer stuff and, and what would happen you know, if he died, when he died. We had talked about all of that stuff, but we'd actually missed off. How, where do you want to die? You know, is there, do you have any preferences? And I, the, the most important thing to me, my husband wasn't a person that had any attachments to certain places or, you know, he wasn't a person that was like, I need to be in my own home. I knew that anyway. And the most important thing for me was that he was comfortable and able to have a peaceful death and this is not something it's not something that any of us want to think about when it comes to our loved ones but when you are faced with that reality you want it to be the best that it can be and you want them to have no pain you want them to be around people that love them and that's where hospices step in and might and hospice we were in warwick might and hospice the people there, I mean, they're the most incredible people. They, they just, I don't know if they recruit them that way, if they're just made that way. I don't know what, you know, would these people get specially selected or are these people just drawn to that kind of profession, that kind of job? Because the nurses and the doctors and the staff that work in Might and Hospice, including those that offer their time freely, they're incredible and when Ross was admitted into Mighton it allowed me to be his wife and be there to see the end and, and not to feel that I was his carer. Previous to this I was caring for him and that was really difficult because it's just it's just not a very nice situation to be in when you're trying to make somebody you love take tablets or do things or move them and, and you're not physically able to do that. When I went into Mighton, I was able to have that help. They were able to do those bits and to allow my husband dignity um, and me the ability to not see those parts of his illness and just to make sure that he was safe and comfortable. Not only that, but they supported us as a family and my family were there all the time. I pretty much, I lived in Mighton Hospice for a month. My daughters were able to come and go. There's a playroom, you know, there's, it's a very, very warm environment. We were, even my mother-in-law was able to stay overnight at times and there was just a level of respect and honesty and dignity and the nurses were incredible. I would be up through the night and those nurses would sit with me and talk to me and bring me cups of tea and hot chocolate and they would understand my fears and they would be honest with me when I asked questions that you no know, people don't want to ask. How is he going to die? What's going to, you know, how do you know when he's going to die? Like when will I know if the breathing is different? Like is it now? They were able to offer their advice and actually there was such an emotional connection with those that worked there. Some of the nurses even came to Ross's funeral because they care that much. They felt upset when he died because they're connected and I just think that is, they're just, it's the most incredible place and it is never a place that any of us, any of us would want to be in because you don't want to be put in that position. But if you are, and the reality is that you are losing your loved one, then there is no better place than than Might and Hospice. And I, I, I can't, I, you know, I can never do anything but feel absolute gratitude for them. So when I was in the hospice, I was aware of the cost. I didn't realise 
how much of it was charity based. I didn't realise that because I'd never had any reason to know this stuff. I assumed that hospices were government funded and that it was all paid for and they're really not. And without them, I just, it doesn't bear thinking about what people would have to go through and the pain of that and, and things would be messy and, and awful for people. And so it's so important to me that they are able to continue and have the funding that they need to be able to do that because every single one of us, none of us know when we might be in a position where our loved one may need their help. We, we just don't know that. We cannot know that. And it's easy to overlook this and think, well, it, you know, it's not me but it, it might be, and yeah. So I always wanted to give back to my in hospice, and when we were in the hospice with Ross, I did a just given page and had no idea whether we could, you know, what we could raise, and I think we raised over, there was over 13,000, maybe four, I can't remember, 14,000, and then Ross's friends did a, a day for Mighton as well, a football day where they raised an incredible, I think it was about 6,000 pound was raised, um, so we've always, as a family, said we want to give back in any way that we can and, and even um, members of our close friends and, and family have um, offered their time to might in as well. So, you know, we, we care a great deal that we are able to give back for the love that we were offered and the support that we were offered during the most difficult time in our lives. Now, might and are currently are about to embark on a new campaign that they're doing a new thing to raise money and, and and awareness of what they do and this is called the butterfly effect and me and the girls have, have put our name of support towards what they're doing um, because of exactly what I've just said and so what is happening uh, um, in at the Co Coventry Cathedral they are going to they've had these special butterflies because the mighty hospice logo is a butterfly and these special butterflies made these meta butterflies really ornate they've been specially made and they have had a thousand of these made and they're going to be erected as a, a display at coventry cathedral and it's going to be from i'm gonna have to check my dates exactly because i can't exactly remember the in case i get it wrong oh god um but it's from the it's in july so you will be able to see these displayed from the probably should have prepared this i did remember it but then i've talked too much now and i can't remember exact dates and i'm gonna get it wrong the 19th of July to the 2nd of August, they're gonna be up for you to be able to go and see. And what you can then do is purchase one of these butterflies. They're 30 pound. And you can do that in memory of somebody that you love. And you can have them in your garden or um, whatever. You can have them wherever you want. It's up to you. I'm, yeah, it's your house. You can do what you want with it. Um, but you can have that as a nice memory. And obviously that £30 goes towards Might and Hospice. And then once that display has been on, um, you know, been up for, for that time, then they will be sent out to you. But it's a really beautiful way of... of you know doing something in memory of somebody that you love and giving back and knowing that going forward that other people are going to be able to have that service and it's just so incredible um so hopefully we will be there on the launch of that me and the girls are going to go and um you know see this all put up and, and offer our support because it genuinely i can't I can't sing their praises enough they're just an incredible bunch of people and they work so tirelessly to make it easier for other people and yeah so let's so i'm just letting you know about it basically guys and if you are from this area or you come to the area and you want to do the whole tourist thing and go and see the cathedral which you absolutely should because coventry's a great place um you should go and have a look at this display and purchase one of these butterflies and yeah and if you can't do that and you don't do that at that time then please do support mike in any way that you can because genuinely they are they're just heroes they're, they're absolute heroes and yeah, that's it. I, I hope that you go and do this and, and my absolute complete love is sent out to everybody that does anything in support of Might and whether you work in the shops, whether you um you are a nurse, a doctor, somebody who helps out, makes cups of teas, you are amazing and I thank you so much for making our time that little bit easier in a very, very difficult time in our lives. Peace out.